Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a pandas method you probably haven't heard of, the pandas data frame XS method. And this is a great technique for subsetting or developing cross tabs for multi-index pandas series or data frames. Let me show you. So here is the documentation where you can see we can we can use this for a data frame or a series. And if there are multiple indices and you want to filter a subset on some particularly an inner index, you can uh, use that key. You can use some value in the index and then specify the label and subset your data in a really, really convenient manner. By default, then that level is dropped and you would return then a data frame or a Panda series. So let me show you what this looks like in a practical example. So here in the notebook, I've got this periodic table encoded as a data frame. You can see we have the first two periods, the respective atomic numbers, group number, group name, the atomic symbol, and then the atomic weight of the first 10 periodic elements. And so let's say we want to subset this data and we only want where the group name, which is this inner index, is noble gas. Now, of course, we could reset the index and just filter that way or we could use the XS method. So we'll use df.xs and we want noble gas as our key. And we're going to say where the label equals group name. When we do this, you can see we now generate this smaller table where we have two elements, helium and neon, where group name equals noble gas, or of course, group 18, and the remainder of our index values. So this is a great technique. We don't have to pass in the level by name. We can pass it in by level number, which would be level three. And you can see we generate the same table. And so this also works for the outermost label. So let's say we only want period two elements. We could do the same thing, df.xs, where uh, we have two. So now we have integer filter and where level equals period. We run this, you see we get all of our period two elements in a nice and convenient data table. We can combine this with many other techniques for filtering analysis, data visualization, or to pass this into another step. And so this is a really convenient way for handling these multi-index data frames or series. In any case, I see you in the next video. Peace.